Hello, Rufus here. It's my birthday tomorrow, so I'm baking a cake, because I'm having some friends over after work. I bet you're wondering if I told my boss about Amelie and the Hipatia. I did, and you can imagine how that went. Let's just say it was a hard week in the office. But I won't let that get me down, because it's my birthday tomorrow, and that makes me happy. I also learned a new juggling routine. Do you want to see it? Pretty good, huh? Ah, sounds like my cake is ready. Mmm, looks yummy. I'll let it cool while I get ready for bed. I really want to get to work on time tomorrow. So see you in the morning then. Good night. a few minutes to spare. Looks like I'll be right on time today. Perfecto. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. What's that noise? Can you hear that? The bus won't be here for another five minutes. I'm going to see what's going on down there. Oh my goodness! It, it's 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 Jake Tada! Ha ha! Yes, it is I, Jake Tada, award-winning theatre and movie actor. Ha ha! What is your name, young lad? My my name is Rufus Johnson, Master Rufus. Well, pleased to make your acquaintance. Wow! I love all your movies. I loved you in X Dogs and Dog of the Rings. You were amazing as Gandalf. Go back to the shadow. What, what were you doing just now? It's nice to meet an avid fan. Well, Master Rufus, you caught me exercising my voice. You don't get to be Ian McKellen's doggy ganger with any old timber. I like to keep my timber fresh. <coughs> Glorious smell. Oh, it's my lunch. You, you just gobbled up my lunch. Spot on observation, young lad. Jake Tada just ate my lunch. I wish I could have at least recorded it for Dogface. And it was delicious. Where were you headed with such a divinely delicious lunch? I was actually on my way to work. It's my birthday today, so I especially want to get to work on time today. Oh ho! Well, a very happy birthday to you, Master Rufus. Thank you, Mr. Tada. Mm -hmm. May I ask what brings you to Luxembourg? Ah, I am shooting a movie in Luxembourg. Wow, a movie? Yes, 
a movie about John de Blanen, the 14th century Count of Luxembourg and King of Bohemia. He was also the titular King of Poland. You know about John de Blanen, don't you? We learnt a bit about him in school. He's the guy who started the Sherba for all, right? I can't wait for the Sherba for all this summer. Mmm, Matwurst. Matwurst? Sherba for all? There's a lot more than Wurst to Jean de Blanen. He is one of the most fascinating historical figures I have had the pleasure of bringing to the screen. He kind of reminds me of myself. Well travelled, unusually gifted, valiant in life and in battle. Even though he spent his last decade blind, he was courageous until the very end. Wow, I knew he was important, but not like that. But he was, Master Rufus, and his last words while fighting against the English were the words of a true man of valour. What did he say? Master Rufus, when his aides tried to convince him that the battle against the English at Crecy was lost, and he better flee to save his life. Jean de Blanen replied, Far be it that the king of Bohemia should run away. Instead, take me to the place where the noise of the battle is the loudest. The Lord will be with us. Nothing to fear. Just take good care of my Wow, that's incredible. It most certainly is. I must be on my way now. Movies to make, roles to play. <laughs> oh no, oh no. I'm going to be late again. Sorry to have kept you, Master Rufus, but before you leave, how do I get to the valley of the Alcette, where the three rivers meet? Aish, Mama, and Alcette. You mean Mersch? Oh, it's called Mersch, is it? Interesting. Well, we are shooting the battle scene there tonight. To get to Mersch, you need to take the 275 bus to the station in Mersch. And then you walk five minutes to the park around the lake. Thank you, Master Rufus. You are a very smart dog. You're welcome, Mr. Tada. But I'm really sorry because I have to run now. It was lovely to meet you. Oh no, oh no. I'm going to be late again. Sorry I'm late. Look who decided to join us. Rufus always late for work, Johnson. Cut it out, Kevin. Seriously, Rufus, not again. You're meant to be here in time for the delivery of the new dog-friendly Google glasses. Take those off, Kevin. You look ridiculous. And if I recall correctly, you are meant to be making this presentation on the Uber Dog service. Oh, Rufus, what's the story this time? Should, sh 
Should I tell him?